Okay. Okay. Look who it is. One of the camera after so long. Finally. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, guys, we want to just film this segment right now to kind of give you guys a little bit of a life update. Kind of catch up because uh, the vlogs haven't really been the same for the past few episodes. Uh, so we want to start implementing more practices of what we're going to be doing in town Ramadan. I was at a halakha the other day after and Isha, yeah. after Isha and the Imam said that Ramadan is the month where you have to really exert yourself in your worship, right? But before we get to Ramadan, we already have to build like a strong foundation of worship before Ramadan so we have something that we can Just build off of. Like level up on, you know? If there's no foundation of worship before Ramadan, then you have nothing to exert yourself for. We have about what? 20, 20 days? 20 days? Uh, 20 20 days? 20 days, yeah. Where have you been? Where have you been okay. to go? <laughs> um, for me, uh, I don't know if I shared a lot online, but I was working full time uh, in school and I'm in college full time and I recently just resigned from my job because it was getting a lot for me and I had been working like two and a half, almost three years and I was working like eight to nine hours a day sometimes and I wouldn't get home till like five o'clock and it was a lot for me and being in school as well and being a wife and moving out. It was like so many changes and I had no free time, I had no time to be myself or anything like that. So Alhamdulillah now, uh, after resigning, I've been able to focus on school and focus on my marriage, and it's been really nice. Okay, update. Uh, we don't have espresso anymore. I think Yusuf updated yeah, you guys I told him last month. on that. But he was just going to the restroom everywhere because I'm the one cleaning after him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one cleaning after them. Um, <laughs> yeah. So where has Yusuf been? No. What has Yusuf done? You guys know if you've been watching this channel for a couple of years, Sacred Clothing has been a project of mine that I've always wanted to start and just be consistent with. So going into 2024, it was one of my main goals was to be consistent in putting out different collections and just really tackling that as a whole. So there's been a lot of changes for Yusuf as well, as you guys know or have seen. Um, Alhamdulillah, he started his clothing brand. So we launched our CH Athletic line, which is Club Hub. Uh, when was it on Valentine's Day, Valentine's which was yeah. February, <laughs> which is February 14, 14, right? Yeah. yeah, so we're, ca we're crossing out Valentine's Day completely and we're putting and we're on top something with more significance, which is going to be the official launch of Sacred. So uh, we have a couple pieces left that are going to be linked down below if you guys want to check out the members collection. Shameless plug, but anyway, yeah, that has just been consuming a lot of my time. And I think in the result of designing this clothing brand and whatnot, I lost the essence of just being natural as a vlogger. And I, didn't, I don't have that much free time as I usually would have in the past for us to, you know, sit down and film, sit content. Down and film content and stuff. And then with her also working a lot. It was so much work for Yeah, it was a lot of work and stuff. So uh, moving forward, alhamdulillah, now that the brand is officially live and she has more time to produce content, inshallah we'll be able to vlog more for you guys. <laughs> Oh, and I've been running a lot. Yeah, but I can't run because my knee is busted. My knee is broken. My knee is busted. <laughs> Alright you guys, so today's video is sponsored by the Opal Tadpole, which is this webcam right over here. This little guy right here. So basically, this is a super easy to use webcam that you can clip onto your desktop or your MacBook. All you have to do is clip it onto the top of your screen and plug the USB directly into your computer. And the really cool part about this USB plug is that it actually has a mute and unmute button on top and underneath it so you don't have to get confused. Now they do have a Sony sensor inside so you guys know that the quality of this is going to be insane. Now the Tadpole is extremely tiny. It's literally smaller than an AirPods Pro case and you can throw it into your backpack. Now because the Tadpole is very tiny, I tend to take it to a lot of my coffee shop dates and I get a bit worried whenever I do have to take meetings because the sound in a cafe can kind of be loud sometimes. But thanks to the directional microphone on the Tadpole, it cancels out all the noise around it and only focuses on what's in front. And it's actually the only webcam on the market right now that has a directional microphone. As always, I'll leave the link down below with my discount code Yusuf so you can use it for 15% off at checkout. And thank you again to Opal for sponsoring this video. This year, I have been reading a lot more than I have ever been in my entire life. I don't know what switched in me. Maybe it's just me being slightly more disciplined in other areas of my life allowed me to pick up a book and not put it down for at least 10 to 15 minutes. So I've been sharing some of the excerpts of 
some books that I've been reading on my Instagram, uh, and some of you guys have been asking me what books have I been reading. So now the first book that I'm currently reading is called Discipline is Destiny um, by Ryan Holiday. He's also the same author that wrote The Daily Stoic. It's a very famous book on the Instagram space. Um, not one that I personally have read, uh, but I know that he has written a lot of books on just discipline and stoicism and whatnot. So even though this year, 2024, has been requiring me to be more disciplined than I have ever been disciplined in my entire life with starting up the brand, taking content more serious, being married and running a household, um, I thought it would be nice to kind of read a book based on discipline. And this is a really good book. So in the book, the author talks about different levels of mastery. So he talks about mastering the mind, mastering the body, mastering the spirit. And I am currently 25 pages in. So I started this book a couple of days ago. But if that's something that interests you guys, for any of you guys that are struggling with discipline, then I suggest you check out these books. The perfect book to pair with this one is... Tim Grover's Relentless. For a little background, Tim Grover was the coach of many, many icons in the athletic space. He was responsible for making these people go from good to great to unstoppable. So he basically took a great player and made them iconic. This book is, I guess the best way to describe it is, it is extremely immersive and you will get addicted to reading it. I am not a reader yet, I will say that. And I am already 73 pages into this book. Tim explains how there's three categories of people in life, right? You can throw everyone in the entire world into these three categories of, of, of people. The first one being a closer, sorry, the first one being a cooler, the second one being a closer, and the third one being a cleaner. Now, essentially, a cooler is kind of someone who just goes with the crowd, they go with the, go, with the flow, they don't really have an opinion of their own self, and they're kind of spineless, they're kind of like a sheep, they just do whatever the coach tells them to do, they do whatever their friends are doing, they don't really have an opinion or a structure of their own thought, right, and they do what they're told. Now, the second category of people is the closer, and it's kind of similar to a salesman, when you hire someone to close a deal, they're going to get the job done, and you can rely on them in that aspect, and you can kind of tell them, hey, get this job done, and they're going to get it done no matter what. It's like you hire an employee, like I, that, that's, that's more of a doer rather than a thinker, and they're always going to be reliable, and you can, that you can rely on them to get the job done. That's a closer. They're not necessarily visionaries they're not necessarily people who are always itching towards going above and beyond now the third category you guys can guess is called a cleaner right now a cleaner is the people like lebron james michael jordan all these great phenomenal figures steve jobs blah 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 blah, blah whoever you want to put in the category of a cleaner uh, i guess the best example that he gives in the book is that whenever you're thinking what the next move is for the game cleaner has already thought five steps ahead so kind of having this as a mindset coach and Pairing that with Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holiday, both of these books have been pivotal for me this entire year, and especially when it comes to running, because running is very much like a slow burn. It's not necessarily like bodybuilding, where you know, you're doing a set of 10 to 15 reps. A slow burn for running is you're putting one foot in front of the other for an extended period of time. This morning, actually, I ran 45 minutes for the first time, my longest run. And uh, we did about 8K, which is five miles with my friend Mahmoud. And Tim Grover's voice, even though I've never heard his voice in my entire life, his voice, his words in that book was just being nailed into my head. Usually what I would do is I have a sauna outside. I will go and sit in there. And the sauna takes maybe 20 to 30 minutes to start up before the steam gets too much. Um, and I'll read in there. And that's like, a, I think of it as like a mind, a mind chamber, kind of where I can pull away from... My apartment and I can go in there and just get the job done by reading and really just reflecting and thinking about what has the day been about and what does tomorrow look like.